Grand Rising, my friends. Welcome back. Thinking about you. Happy to see you today. At this moment in time, through uh, time and space, as if it's the same for both of us. But who knows where I'm at in the blockchain versus where you're at. If you're new here, what it do? Go jump into it. Not gonna keep you long today. Uh, get into the stories fairly quickly. I find myself kind of just blabbering at the beginning here. Uh, crypto market is doing a little bit better. You know, nothing spectacular. Up a couple of percent in the past hour. Car- Cardano was down for the day. Uh, Solana is doing pretty well overall from the past 24 hours. Terra is doing well. Avalanche continues doing well. I was watching a video the other day, months from months ago, about how Avalanche was going to do well. Like, right, great googly muggly. So you got, sometimes you're going to miss them. Sometimes you catch them, sometimes you're going to miss them. Yeah, I'm not, you know, for the most part, I tell people, hey, look, stay, hey, this is not financial advice or any type of advice or anything. But, you know, focus on Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then I said, if you feel you, this was back when it was like a dollar or something. Like, if you feel the urge to have to buy something else, buy Cardano. I still think it's fairly cheap for where it's going to be at. But this is not financial advice. Do what you feel you need to do in this world at all times. Stock market was a little bit muted today with the S&P and NASDAQ down. NASDAQ down almost half a percent. Dow Jones up a little bit. Tesla had a pretty good day. Was up almost 2%, I mean, over 2%. And JP Morgan, the banks was up a little bit. So Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan. You can see here we're up today. I wonder what that was about, where the banks was able to ride that wave. Because they were up almost 2%. And, and so oil, too. Chevron was up. It's not over yet for oil. We're not at that point yet to anyone who is thinking, um, you know, with the electrification of transportation, we still have quite a ways to go for that. Oil is going to do well for a while. So, but at some point it's going to be a, a different ball game. So be prepared for that. To the most beautiful subscribers in all of YouTube land, you know what time it is. It's that positivity and that get hypeness, which is find someone in your life. Think back, go into your mental Rolodex and say, you know what? If it wasn't for such and such, I wouldn't be able to do the things that I'm able to do in such spectacular fashion. And I'm going to do something nice for them by writing a nice message and sending it via YouTube comment section on the Grand Rising Rounds videos and see how they enjoy what I enjoy as well. With that, we, it's up and down today. It's all over the place. So let's go have some fun. I have no idea what the thumbnail will look like for this one. So I, now I just do them at the end. I used to put in thought, but now I just, you know, wing it, like whatever. Whatever come to my mind first. So here we go. Was saw the uh, watch Dark Knight again the other day. Was uh, watch somebody else's reaction to Dark Knight, and man, that movie is so awesome. Biden to tap law professor who wants to end banking as we know it as OCC chief. What the heck? Or is this just a grabber gotcha headline? Possibly, but so let's get a little bit into a story. So Biden is reportedly planning to nominate this law professor who has said she wants to end banking as we know it to run the office of the comptroller of the currency. I'm guessing most of us didn't even know that the office of the comptroller of the currency even existed. Well, what does the office of the I'm going to call it OCC does the as the OCC oversees major banking institutions such as JP Morgan Chase Citigroup and Bank of America we'll get to this person later so the person's name is Saul I'm maybe butchering this Omarova they're from uh, um Kazakhstan 
Kaz, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan. Now I feel like I'm butchering that because I feel like no, that was a real place that yeah that Borat was using in that uh, that wasn't fictional. Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan. I feel like I'm butchering it though, but a butcher words and I'm wrong about a bunch of stuff. So double check everything. This is just purely for uh, entertainment purposes. So all the things that I may say, um, remember that entertainment. And I butcher words so that. And Kai, 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 see, seeing it like that probably just make me, hearing it over time and seeing it is probably throwing me off. Kai, Kai, Kazakhstan. Kai. Well, I gotta go look that one up, unless they're misspelling it there. Anyway, this individual, Omarova, served as special advisor on regulatory policy under George W. Bush. In her writing, she has been critical of large banks entering the world of cryptocurrencies, which she argues would allow large firms to conduct trading activities out of the sight of federal regulators like they don't already. If you ever want to just go down a deep, dark rabbit hole, a couple of deep, dark rabbit holes, we can talk about this one day. One day we'll do um, not deep dives. We'll do dark rabbit holes because, <laughs> you know, I got some scary stuff rattling around my brain. I read over the years that, uh, you know, you just hope is it true, even even a, even a percentage of it. Kind of like, you know, the whole thing that uh, I won't even say the name because I don't know how this algorithm stuff work, but. The belief that a large population had in um, about politicians and actors this year that if just a percentage of it was real, you you know, you would hate it, let alone any any of the major of it. Oh, yeah. So the, the, the rabbit hole with the banks, a little bit to go down if you want to is just look up. Like. Fines for financial crimes, and it's like money laundering, fraud, just every year these banks are caught committing these crimes. They pay a fine and continue on like it's just part of operations. So how much are they not getting caught about is an important thing. So anyway, this new individual who, you know, received degrees from Moscow State University, University of Wisconsin, Madison, Northwestern. So Big Ten after coming over from the Soviet bloc. But this individual, okay, now we don't critical of banks in the world cryptocurrency, but or how to use it. We gotta be careful about that. But this individual now is is they're looking to put and I don't think it's been nominated yet, but they're looking to for the Office, so they're, they're probably just floating an idea out now out there for everyone. Colombian NFT artist receives warning from Instagram over the sale of cocaine NT, NFTs. NTFs, way off. NFTs. So, NFTs have grown so much that they have become one of the leading known forms of selling art online. The ease of minting have given rise to people selling pictures of anything. So, this individual, Camelo Restrepo, Minted up some white triangles representing one kilo cocaine packages, which the hard drugs are usually sold in, according to this article. And buyers get to own the NFTs of these cocaine packs. Restrepo minted about a thousand of these, which were meant to be sold as part of the same series. But when he tried to go on um, social media to market it, he got just the band hammer, whomp, whomp, crushed down on them. So. <laughs> God, he went off to, uh, I guess, probably, what, Telegram, other things to try to sell it. Other than that, post a sale, Twitter, but post a soon taken down, warnings. Because um, I guess they felt that um, he was, um, yeah, he got some trying to do some work around on that. But I was like, you don't need to do a work around. Look at this. Boom. You got this NFT. They call themselves the Narcos official community, and that's is their thing. They're going to be selling <laughs> Some NFTs of cocaine with guns and teddy bears. It's got a nutbag stuff. So it, it's the Wild West. You got to be very careful. You got to be smart about it. You can't, you got to take your time. Just do research. A lot of it is just waiting and doing research before getting involved in these situations. Because uh, right here they talk about this analyst is saying that rich people are just using NFT to move their ill-gotten money through a channel. So like a, a, a vast way to money laundering. 
Could it be? Who knows? In the NFT space, it was this mystery of this fame, uh, this person who recently started buying a bunch and having a lot of um, ex very expensive NFTs. They had a wallet on OpenSea that was estimated to be worth close to $17 million. Still exists there now. You can go look all this up. It's, you know, on the blockchain, you can see the wallet. They got CryptoPunks in there. Um, and so this person who was saying things, everybody was like, oh, and, and they were saying, hey, look, I'm, I'm a... A famous individual is my famous considerable when I'm going to tweet from my personal account and you'll know it's me. And then supposedly it was Snoop. Snoop came out and said, hey, it's me. I'm that, I'm that person. That Cosomo Medici, um, Medici, Medici, how do you pronounce that? Because it's not how it looks. It's Medici. Medici? Something like that. Medici. And the, they... You know, so everybody was like, oh, it's Snoop. And then they had, you know, um, in there, Snoop went, uh, Snoop in their OpenSea account. Let's click and see what this takes us to. Oh, this is the, 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 the wallet of this individual, right? And so, you know, so once people know your wallet, they can send you stuff. So a lot of the stuff you go see in here, people have been sending them. This Matic 8 Club, Corrupted Rumble, these are all not real board yacht eight club this is some derivative stuff so what i do is i go in here and i filter to Otis to see what did this person put in there before people knew who it was this is what you get crypto punks you know you get one two three four five six seven eight nine crypto punks how many art blocks one two three four five six um six art blocks curated um this naya dog you got these me bits. So this this uh, account's been buying some thing things. You know, I came in here and bought some of these high club uh, joints after I saw this. I was like, yeah, I get down with y'all. Look like they minted these because you don't see any prices here. So they minted these and, even, and never even put them up for sale. So they minted all of these. And I don't know, maybe they start getting sent stuff around here somewhere. Who knows? Oh, okay, no, these, they probably bought these um, Tom Sack Rocket Factories. These are worth, like, somebody spent 30 Ethereum for this. 24, this person did, 30 Ethereum, 24 Ethereum for it. And I'll tell you how you can find out. And they built their entire Atari rocket, because you can get pieces of rockets and build them up. So this is a, I can't even make out what that logo is, cup of noodles. Campbell Soup, Skippy, McDonald's with Chanel's, and uh, Hell Satan is a um, Budweiser with a Trojan uh, top. <laughs> and he and he he put he got it down for six 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 uh, out there. So you could tell that this person. So he he minted these, and now I would sell them if you would buy them. But these he bought. So for this one here, you can see owned by. Offer. I don't care about the offers. So it was minted on that date and then transferred to this account. And this properties Atari, Atari is a perfect rocket. Atari. So, oh, perfect rocket. That's what it says. So that's just a brief understanding going through real quick. But now this other. Article read afterwards that they don't think it's Snoop, but you know, maybe they just don't accept that a black man is able to put together a portfolio as such because they got everybody but oh, we think it's this person, we think it's that person, so and we just think Snoop just um, um, oh, is this I'm gonna show you how there's something else in there because in there, Snoop had do, 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 do. oops, oh, I um. Oh, it went there and I deleted it. So, I mean, it knocked the article off. It's all right, though. But, uh, yeah, they had the party pass on there. With Snoop. But anyway, so, was it, is it Snoop? Is it Snoop know the person and just said, hey, I'll come out and in front it, you know, just, you know, to make you pumping even more? Who knows? But the NFT marketplace is blowing up. 
government proposes to obtain everyone's bank transactions to make sure that the wealthy aren't high in income. Okay, you, you say, well, how much do y'all want to know about if you're going to make sure the wealthy isn't high in your income? Anything above $600. So if you spend more than 600 or deposit more than 600 it should be reported. Right now, there that's about a $10,000 number right now. Um, but according to this, I got to see the law for myself. because I was thinking this may be some, seem like it may be a little bit of <laughs> hyperbole because that sounds like things that will cause wars to happen. Where is this saying at? At first glance, the proposal seemed fair. Uh, they're talking about President, President Biden. After all, blah, blah, blah. Banks are opposed to this measure. But where does it say the 600 at? Because they... Most people calculate and report how much tax they owe by themselves instead of having the government determine it for them. But some people don't tell the truth or are unable to calculate their income. As a result, there's a tax gap, which is the difference between what the government should be collecting if everyone's telling the truth and what people actually pay. That sounds very dystopian to think like that. According to the Treasury Department, the main reason for the tax gap is because third parties do not report all of a person's income. So they are relying on the honor system, which is not always reliable. Hey, getting paid under the table is an American tradition. They believe that if taxpayers knew that the IRS knows what they know, they were more likely file an accurate return and pay their fair share. OK, nobody is disagreeing. One of them will require banks to report every customer's total deposits and withdrawals in their accounts. You got to be kidding me. No. No, 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 no. That doesn't seem to my first glance. That's ain't fair. How? How does that seem fair? And what reality does that seem uh, something like anyone should do? Banks can already they generally have to report transactions generally have to report that they had to. I used to work for a bank. We had to. I don't know what to generally mean. Transactions exceeding $10,000. In addition, they submit suspicious activity reports if they think that one of their customers could be engaging in an illegal activity. You're forcing people into other markets. You're forcing people into it. No one wants, this is not China where you know everything that's supposed to happen and look to see if I'm going to be, we're going to be good little boys or girls or good little thems and theys and do what it's supposed we you know make sure that, well i know what you're supposed to do I mean, i'm going to give you i'm going to see if you're going to do it if not i'm going to uh destroy your life get out of here get out of here this is insanity so that's i got to figure out if this is real or not or if this is um something that's just it's a uh straw man that they're building something out of nothing and thinking it's going to scare people. That's what a straw man means. If not, I may be mistaken, but it seemed like it makes sense to me. So, but when I read that, I was thinking, like, they got to be, because, hey, somebody I know reached out to me and said, hey, did you hear about this? What you think about that? I said, my bank is not going to agree to that. And they talked about that in here. Is this going to push out banks? This is all the um, problem. Will the proposal work? Uh, did, 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 uh, what does it say about you know some banks don't have the 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 financial means to set up a system to do such reporting it'll push them out of business you have some customers who will leave the bank a hundred percent if that happens. I know I read that here, but I'm not, like it's like I'm not seeing. Those sentences that I saw. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, right there. Banks oppose that the oppose compliance costs and may restrain relationships. Smaller banks don't have the technical expertise or financial resources to comply. Uh, so, no, this is unacceptable. So, if we find out this has happened, we all have to ride. We may be fighting things like this, though. Mysterious stealthy shape that resembles future fighter concepts spotted at radar test range. So if they're doing it in broad daylight, they want us to find out. They want us to know what's coming next. And we'll we mute Buddy because he's cursing here. But this is the video of this shape that's going out to a radar test stand. So a radar test stand, they do any type of, uh, here's a 
bit of a mock-up of it. You can see it's like a big pole. You put your, and you can see it's upside down. This is look like the um, the F-22 Raptor, a, a, a version of it. So you put your, and they think this is upside down as well. This is the up down, upside down shape of it, what it looks like um, on its back. And you put it on top of the stand and then you can test radars. That's why I had radar test stand. You can test different radar from different angles at it and get a sense of how it would show up, how it doesn't show up, what systems it can defeat, what, what, you know, where you may have to do work at. But it looks crazy. Now, what makes this so important is because it's at Lockheed Martin secretive Hellendale's radar cross section measure, uh, measurement facility. This site located in the Mojave Desert, not far from the company's Skunk Work Headquarters in Plant 42 in Palmdale, California, is among the most sophisticated of its kind, has played a key role in the development of U.S. stealth. Lockheed has been making the best stealth planes. I mean, you can North of Grumman is a B-2 up there in, in that argument and i think who, who's making a raider the b21 raider is it boeing so there's other companies that make great stealth aircraft but lockheed everyone knows lockheed does they do some people think lockheed had access to technology from other places be it dimensional or planets you can argue about but that's going down a rabbit hole for now we'll just say that They've been making some of the, you know, I want to say the the uh, black Blackbird, the no, not what it called the Blackbird. What was it called? The Nighthawk, the uh, F F one seventeen Nighthawk, I think. Our, our first quote unquote stealth plane, and I think the F twenty two Raptor is Lockheed Martin, if I'm not mistaken. But here nor there, this. So anyway, they found this is where it was at. So that a place where you would expect to see some of the most. But you imagine they would have the roads blocked off, do it at nighttime. You know, they even talk about it here that this facility. What does this say? Where is it? At? The facility has underground areas in which test articles can be lowered when not in use to hide them from prying eyes. Radar rays are two mounted on hydraulic lifts that can be raised and lowered as well as the slid into place as required. Secure storage buildings on site also house test articles when not in use. So in other words, they can hide this if they wanted to. For some reason, they wanted... We, we about to probably disclose some new paradigms of technology that we have in terms of defensive slash offensive weapons and i think we're you know this is a soft rollout for some some very um futuristic behaving and looking technology that's going to come so this is not for us because we very special as peoples and we need to figure out better things so looking at lion's mane's mushroom to improve brain function it's a nice little article that goes into and they talk about different ways you can buy it fresh you can cook with it um they talk about other brain food stuff but you can cook with it you can also it comes in a supplement so i'll probably go pick up some of the supplement because this is part of and we'll you know talk about this far more in depth at some other point but what's called nootropics, which are substances that you can take to improve your cognitive functioning. So, you know, it's always the thought of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But what, what if you can make it better? What if you can make it run better? Why wouldn't you just, and, and you see this in people in life where, and I, you know, I see it all the time and I try to help people to say, don't be stagnant in, in, in moving towards entropy in your life. You can move towards harmonious perfection even if you never get there but just the work to obtain it makes you a better person if you're just doing the same things and and you're not pushing yourself you're not trying to figure out ways to be better what do you think you're being if you're not being better then what are you you're being worse and it's not always about you know i have to understand with my friends when we get into arguments that it's not about because we get into right or wrong. And I say sometimes it's not about right or wrong. It's about good, better, best. Like if you have a you're going away home, you may tell somebody, hey, turn here is faster. Like, oh, but is it wrong for me to go this other way? Not necessarily, but it's a better way to do things and to 
not under not want to be better and 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 look for the best ways to get things done i mean i i personally cannot understand that so you know i mean i don't it's not that i don't see it and see the choices other people take but i don't I understand that they don't understand it's a choice and I try to help them see it's a choice, but I, but I can completely understand that people don't, a lot of people are blinded to the fact that these are choices that they can make in their mindset in daily life. And so once you get past that and learn that you can start changing, who cares what the people you grew up with thought, who cares what society thinks, as long as you, my thing, as long as you're not hurting other people. And that, you know, goes to a long story about why the vaccinations are different from cancer or different from this and that. It's because you can potentially hurt other people. I can't catch your cancer. <laughs> you know, people be like, oh, we don't do the same thing for this and that. But like, well, it's a bit different when we're talking about an infectious disease. The way it operates is that it needs all of us to allow it. But if we work against it as a team, we defeat it. It doesn't work the same for a lot of other conditions that people bring up. The, the what abouts, what abouts. Off on a tangent, I'm not going to stay long with it. So, nootropics they use as lion mains found to improve some cognitive dysfunction, decrease mental health symptoms, so made depression more manageable. So, and it has what we talked about. Lion mane has been found to have anti inflammatory properties, which may help with stress and work as an antidepressant. So one of the most important things, and it can pass the blood-brain barrier, is very important. Things that can reduce inflammation, the stress response, tend to be better for the body. So in your daily life, that you got to find ways to, when you find yourself worked up or you feel worked up, say, this is a state I can't maintain. I can't. I cannot allow myself to. And so get yourself woosawed up. All right? I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.